Hello. It's half eight in the morning. Ducks are up. Well, everybody's up. And I'm back out in the garden and this morning I've harvested uh, the remainder of the yellow beans. a layer of sawdust in the compost heap uh, over the last lot of greens. And then in go all those bean plants. And another layer of sawdust over the top. So next I'm going to give them a good wash, pick out any of the any leaves I think they might need a couple of rinses actually I'm going to sort them. The thinner ones uh, I'll freeze whole and the slightly thicker ones I'll, I'll chop and freeze. These few beans I, I'm going to save. I'm going to let them dry out uh, on the archway here and then the beans on the inside and will be used for seed next year. And I'm just wondering what I'm going to do about the uh, Prince beans which are supposed to be rich and green and beautiful and are actually rather pale and woody and I could use them uh, sliced very finely in stews that would work or I could leave them uh, and then actually harvest the bean that's on the inside no idea what it tastes like but maybe that would be a better option however I could also really do with the space where they're growing and I want to try putting in uh, some early potatoes uh, late if that makes sense uh, to see if we can have potatoes for Christmas. And this space uh, would be ideal. And I've also got half a dozen purple sprouting broccoli that I want to get into the ground because, well, they've just been sitting out in the open. <laughs> the butterflies have been laying their eggs on them, but that's by the by. It would be good to get them in the ground uh, and then hopefully uh, they will grow and produce something for us next spring. One of the things that I really enjoy uh, about all this abundant harvest is being able to share it. And uh, we've just had a visit from Erica, from uh, Erica's Little Welsh Garden. She's popped in for a cup of tea uh, and I've given her a few of those yellow beans uh, to take home for her supper tonight. In a few minutes uh, my sister will be here uh, to buy some eggs uh, and I'm also going to be giving her uh, some of the runner beans so I'll weigh these uh, to include them in the harvest total uh, but it's really nice that she can have a, a few fresh runner beans uh, from our garden it makes me very happy uh, to be able to share my harvest with her we had quite a foggy night uh, the the foghorns were sounding on the bridge uh, and it was really quite a foggy start to the day and once the sun uh, had burnt away that haze, uh, it was uh, very, very bright, <laughs> very sunny out here and very hot. Uh, so I've been careful. I've been inside for most of the day. Uh, we're now almost at four o'clock in the afternoon uh, and it has clouded over again, um, but it is still just as humid. In fact, it, it's almost unpleasantly humid. And I did think uh, I'd felt a couple of spots of rain, but uh, that passed. 
that's just a couple of spots so we've got to friday afternoon already the week has absolutely flown by I'm not quite sure where it's all disappeared to but anyway there was uh, something we were supposed to be doing midweek that we haven't done and that was to uh, draw names out of uh, our not quite a hat uh, out of our glass jar for people who will be receiving our giveaway uh, to celebrate uh, reaching 3,000 subscribers so I haven't forgotten about it uh, I've decided I'm going to do the draw uh, at the beginning of the live chat on Sunday uh, so that will be in the first uh, ten, within the first 10 minutes of the live chat so if you're only watching uh, just to see whether your name was drawn out the hat you won't actually have to watch the whole of the live chat uh, to find that out it'll be done near the beginning well that's it for me today I'm heading in to put the kettle on the, to make a cup of tea for when my sister arrives and so, wherever you are in the world, and whatever you've got planned for today, I hope it's a good one. And I also hope you'll join me again tomorrow. Mm -hmm.